point, I wanted to share a haul that I did with you, but this is kind of a special haul. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I shop at my local grocery store, H-E-B, a lot. Um, I have my regular shopping day is on Mondays, but I often find myself there a second, third, or even fourth time during the week to pick up things that I forgot or things that I uh, find out that I need. What Anyway, I love my H-E-B. And you know, I pick up a lot of makeup there as well. It's easy to sneak those things in among the regular grocery shopping items. Well, much to my surprise and excitement, H-E-B reached out to me recently and asked if I wanted to help with their beauty ambassador program, where basically they send me some products that they're featuring that month, and they sent me some gift cards to do a little shopping of my own so I could show you some of the cool things that you can pick up at your local H-E-B. Now I know that not everybody lives in Texas, that's too bad, but, um, I did decide to feature items that you can pick up just about in any part of the United States and probably outside the United States as well. So please do not stop watching just because you don't have access to an H-E-B. You can still pick up most of these products just about anywhere else. And I will link them below if you want to find them online. Link them below if you want to find them online. So um, I am wearing a full face of drugstore makeup, in this case grocery store makeup, and I'm excited to do this. I have decided for the channel I will be featuring a lot more drugstore products. I'm coming up on my five year YouTube anniversary, if you can believe that, this July, and I want to get a little bit back to my roots where I started with mostly drugstore and a little bit high end. I'm not going to give up my high end stuff, I do love it, but there's a lot of exciting things going on in the street, high street, you know, local grocery store, drugstore type stuff. So enough of this. Let me show you what I've got on and uh, some first impressions and things like that. So um, I picked up my summer shade and one of my favorite foundations. If you've, like I said, a lot of, some of these are new, but some of these are oldies and goodies. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. My summer shade or my in-between summer shade is 820 and I am wearing it now. I also did recently pick up the new one, but that is for a separate review. I love them both. This one has very good medium to almost full coverage and it does last. It stays on all day. So this is a really great choice for the summertime, which is why I picked it up. I didn't pick up a powder, but I did pick up this little guy. This is a limited edition from Wet n Wild, the Color Icon Blush and Glow Trio, and I picked Sunset Junction. There are a few options in this um, three-in-one little trio. I got what looked like the more fair version in the bronzer. It has a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer all in one. This is reminiscent of the It Cosmetics Vitality. A lot of big brands are doing it. Um, the you know the three in one Urban Decay, but this is a drugstore or I should say grocery store version. And um, I will say the bronze I, the bronzer is you know a little bit more on the orangey side than um, some, but once you blend it in, it blends in very nicely. I'm wearing it all over. This highlighter though is unbelievable, incredibly soft, pigmented. Very, I mean, look at that. You can see it gleaming from way back there. It is amazing. A little goes a long way. And then I really like this natural kind of pink, um, I'd say it's more of a satin finish. It, it, it has a gleam to it, but it doesn't sparkle. There's no sparkle in it. And that is what I am wearing today. I also picked up a second blush that I've been going back and forth with. I... I love this blush. I think maybe because it reminds me so much of one of my new all-time favorite, the Clinique Cheek Pops. This is the Milani Powder Blush in Tea Rose. And um, look at that. Look how pretty. I love the flower. And it's definitely more of a, it's a bright, much brighter pink and a more almost matte finish. Um, so again, really good for summer if you are afraid of getting a little too glowy when you add nature's natural glow. This is a good one to pick up and I definitely want to get a few more in this range. There's one I think that's a more coral color that I really want to give a go. Um, this, let's see, what did I put on next? Ah, brows. This I'm really excited to have picked up. I wish I'd had my hands on this when I did my eyebrow tutorial. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara and I got it in the shade Blonde. What I really like particularly particularly about H-E-B, sorry to rub it in if you don't have one near you, but the H-E-B, just your regular small H-E-Bs carry a lot of NYX products, and the big H-E-Bs, I went to an H-E-B Plus. Um, in particular, I visited the one at 281 in Evans. That's the one I think closest to me of the H-E-B Pluses. Um, they have more NYX than, like, than Ulta. I mean, they have the whole line and the limited edition stuff. It was insane how many NYX products there were. In fact, 
there, I was kind of insane just how much of anything there is at the H-E-B Plus. They even had salon services, they have um, makeup lessons, they have little makeup parties for young girls, like little, you know, like young, like four-year-olds. It was mind-blowing and I spent a good hour in there because there was so much to look at. But back to the product, this is the, um, you know, mascara basically for eyebrows. And what I really like about this one is it has a very small wand, very reminiscent of my all-time fave, the Benefit um, Gimme Brow. But it is, I'm going to just put a little more on, it is, it does make my brows a little lighter, which if you're a blonde, trying to fake being a blonde, this really comes in handy. And it's keeping my brows in place, and it's pigmented, and it's a great price point. So if you can get your hands on this NYX, this might be my new fave for brow, mas for brow mascaras. Um, more eye products. It was hard to find a grocery store eye primer, but I found one and I think it's working really well for me now that I figured out how to use it. Um, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener and it's um, more like a pen form that you twist up. I don't want to twist it up too much because I've already twisted too much on from earlier today. And it, you can use this under your eyes because it has that peach tint to it so you can wear it under your eyes, but I've been wearing it on my lids and it it um, I blend it in with my finger and as you do so it's a basically almost like a liquid to powder it gets very matte still has a slight um, salmon -y cast to it so it cancels out the blueness of the veins in your eyeballs that on your eyelids that I struggle with and my eyeshadow has held up great I've been in thunderstorms with this I've been walking around in humidity and my eye makeup has lasted all day so speaking of eye makeup this has gotten a lot of buzz, some good, some bad. When I saw these, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna finally buy one. And this is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude. I got it in the, the one palette because I'm more of a warm toned person. And here it is. And I have to tell you, I've heard a lot of negative, but in my personal experience, I've been wearing it the last few days. Is I really like the palette. I think it's really versatile. I like that they throw in a couple of cool tones. I think the pigmentation is just fine. You know, you have to keep it, I have to keep in mind a couple of things. Not everybody has access to ordering things on the internet. Not everybody has a credit card that they can go whip out, you know, and run to the internet and pick up, say, the Coastal Sense Revealed palettes or, well, really that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. So for those of you who, you know, you're, you're maybe younger and you're saving up your allowance or you're babysitting money, whatever, you can walk to your grocery store, your, whoops, your drugstore, and pay $20 for this, and you might not be able to, you know, order something on the internet. And obviously, you can get coupons for L'Oreal, so this will knock the price down. But for a drugstore, I will say 20 bucks is pretty hefty. Um, but I really, I really like, I like the selection, and I might go back and pick up the Cool Toned one. I saw Lisa Eldridge did a tutorial with it, which was kind of impressive. And I haven't even tried this yet, but there are little directions on the back on how to do some looks. So that's pretty... Cool. I like it. I think it's great. Look, I think it's great that, yeah, you can go and get Urban Decay Naked and all that and spend, you know, $40, $50, $60. But I love that the drugstore, I should say grocery store market, the brands, the high street brands are finally realizing that your normal consumers want something like this. And grocery store, drugstore makeup has come a long way since when I first started YouTube, even in five years. This would have never, ever existed five years ago. So that is kind of exciting. On to eyes, um, I had heard everybody else talking about these, so I wanted to give it a go, and this is, I picked, unfortunately, something that's difficult to read. It's a NYX pencil, and I believe it is, yes, the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely Turn On Waterproof Eyeliner, and I just got it in brown. I'm not particularly an exciting person. What I like about this is very smooth and silky, easy to glide on, doesn't tug on my lids. And if you're into color, there are a million options. Beautiful jewel tones and golds and silvers and blues, greens, purples, all that, and brown. So I do like this. I've been wearing this a lot. This may even replace my dearly beloved Rimmel, so I'm glad that I gave this a go. Then um, another highlighter that they sent me, and I've been swatching it, and actually I like wearing, I'm not wearing it today, but I wanted to mention it. This is the Revlon Highlighting Palette. Looks like this. Should look very similar to, I don't know, the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. And it is. Um, it has a variety here of some pink shades, and this is in the color Rose Glow. I like this if you take a fluffy brush and you swirl it on your cheekbones and the apples of your cheeks, and then layer it 
under a more matte blush like this, it's a really pretty kind of glow from within look. Just wanted to throw that out there. Couple more things to talk about, mostly what's going on with my lips. So I thought it'd be fun to go out of my box and pick up a shade that I would never wear in real life. And I have to say, at first I thought it was hideous, but it's growing on me, and I bought two of them. This is, these are new from NYX, they're the High Voltage Lipstick Collections, and what I have on today is 07. I don't think they have names. Mine just says 07, um, Beam, I'm sorry, it's Beam, and it's bright, and I thought it'd be fun paired with this really bright top. If you're gonna go bright, go, I thought, let's just go bright all over. And then this is a much more wearable every day that I actually wore on, um, for a dinner out recently. This is in the shade 19 Tiara. And there are a lot of beautiful shades. They're very slim, they're very moisturizing, they are opaque on the lips. They seem to stick around a long time, but they're very, um, they're not drying at all. They're, they almost feel like a balm, but there's definitely a lot more pigment than a balm. And then a few more things since we're, Almost done here. This is a surprise. I I picked it up on a whim. It's the new CoverGirl mascara called the Super Sizer. And I started out on YouTube really into CoverGirl Lash Blast and I have come back to the CoverGirl collection. First of all, these are so inexpensive compared to what I've been buying lately. But I don't know if you can see. Check out this brush. It is super teeny, teeny, tiny. And the bristles are really tight together and you can get into every lash and every corner and really build up your um, your mascara on your lashes and I find it is amazing for lower lashes it really grips the lashes now I will say the gimmick that comes with this is you're supposed to roll the wand as you put it up no don't even no that's I got it all over my face just you know, put it at the base of your lashes, really wiggle it up, and then brush it on like normal. It has not flaked on me, it stays on, it stays on in the humidity, and it's, I think my lashes, I think they look as good as any other mascara I've been wearing, but I feel like this is a lot more user-friendly to get into those little, you know, the inner and the outer corners of your eye. It's amazing. And what's left? Okay, something I really love about H-E-B, I know you can get these in other places, but this was the first place I saw it. They sell the mini bottles of OPI, Orly, I think another brand. So if you're not sure you want to commit to a full-size bottle, you can try a little one. And this is the first Orly polish I ever bought, and it's still my all-time favorite shade, and it is called Rage, and it is a gorgeous kind of champagne, soft rose gold, and I'm not wearing it today, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So those, oh, wait, and there was one more. This, this, maybe this these the summer star um i have pros and cons but let me just say first of all it's the l'oreal infallible pro spray set makeup extender setting spray now um i do like the nyx setting spray but it has been very humid in san antonio the last few weeks it has rained almost every single day and this was sent to me to try and the first time i tried it I shook it up and followed the directions and I felt like I had cling wrap on my face. I could feel it. I didn't like the feeling, but I got to tell you something. My makeup didn't move. So it does what it's supposed to do. Now I will say I have continued to wear it almost every day. My skin has not reacted to it and my makeup has not come off and I've gotten used to that feeling and I don't even know if I can even notice it. You know what, let me give it another squirt right now while we're... I mean, right now I don't feel it because it's wet. But as it dries, sometimes I kind of feel like there's a film on my face. If this really bothers you, I understand it. But I gotta tell you, if you have a special event coming up or you know you're gonna be outside and you really want your makeup to stay put, this stuff is amazing. It's absolutely, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. The idea is to make have your makeup stick on. It's like hairspray for your face. It kind of feels like you put hairspray on your face. But it works. So I have been reaching for it, and yeah, I kind of feel, it doesn't feel like to the touch, your skin feels like skin, but I feel like it's a little tight. 
that is my general haul from um, HEB. It was a lot of fun shopping there. I mean, it's I go there, like I said, three or four times a week. Anyway, but it was my pleasure to um, do it for HEB. This video was not sponsored. They did um, give me a gift card that I could use at HEB to purchase these items, but I personally have not been paid. Just wanted to put that out there. And um, I'm hoping that they'll ask me to do this again because it's been really fun to show off something I'm really proud of in my hometown, and that is our grocery store. If you like these kind of videos where I'm exploring some more drugstore options, please let me know in the comments below. I have gone out since this purchase and gone out and bought a few more things, but I wanted to show those in another video coming up. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. I will list everything that I showed in the comment box or in the description box, and if I can find links to them, I will do that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.